Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by Big4AccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, we're going to be talking about the BDO accounting firm. News just came out that BDO won their biggest international audit client ever, and they're doing so by replacing KPMG. BDO in the UK and Germany and the US has won its largest ever international client. And this is per cdm.com. And they're replacing KPMG as the auditor of the software giant SAP. And BDO will take over for KPMG as SAP's auditor for the 2023 financial year. So KPMG still has a couple more years to audit SAP. And this will be announced at SAP's general meeting in 2022. And it's SAP said that they started this process earlier to give the new audit firm sufficient time for onboarding because it probably will take a lot of time to onboard. And KPMG has audited SAP since 2002. But of course, the regulations in Europe means that they had to switch auditors. And this news comes out just after we did the top 10 accounting firms video on our YouTube channel. And BDO has passed $10 billion in revenue. So it's a pretty large firm now, and it's slowly creeping up to KPMG and KPMG losing clients to BDO is not a good sign for KPMG. And who knows, maybe BDO will take KPMG spot soon enough. And, but SAP is the world's largest provider of business software and has the largest market capitalization in the DAX 30. And the chief accounting officer at SAP had the following to say, BDO convinced us in many ways during the selection process. That includes among others, excellent expertise in complex accounting and tax issues. Deep understanding of SAP business model and the modern and innovative innovative audit concept. We are confident that with BDO, we have chosen a very good auditor for SAP and are now pushing the transition process forward together. And this is this is a pretty big win for BDO because they're seen as a large accounting firm, but they're not seen as one of the big four. But now winning something like this, it gives them a chance. But I think this is also part of a European thing with regulation that a lot of companies are going to try and distance themselves from the big four accounting firms with all the scandals, but also it's the fee. The, they try to make it seem like they chose BDO because they're innovative and stuff, but what SAP is really doing here is trying to save money on fee because BDO is going to charge less because they really don't have the level of expertise that KPMG does. No matter what they say, it's just KPMG has global clients everywhere, a bigger global network, bigger audits. So that's really what's going on here. But even when you get down to the numbers on this, it's not really that much money at stake. As we've said before, audit fees are going down. And I think the total audit fee for SAP, even globally, is only like 10 million pounds. It's not that much money. Like, like, like Audits used to be huge, but tech company audits are not that big and not that complex. So it's not that much money. This is a big deal for BDO. Don't get me wrong, because it's actually one of the largest companies in the world that they won. But it's just not that much money at stake. And it's not a huge loss for KPMG in the short term, but in the long term, it might be. It's not going to hurt them financially. But from a brand perspective, it's bad that they're losing to BDO. So that's the podcast for today to get future updates. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast. Support us financially through the Buy Me a Coffee link in the show notes to this podcast and on YouTube. This, the Buy Me a Coffee helps us help support us so that we can keep doing podcasts like this, creating videos on YouTube for informational purposes, courses, books, etc. So that'd be helpful. Make sure to check out the description also to get other ways you can support us through buying a book. You can, you can help yourself out or getting the interview course. There's just multiple ways that, that you can support us and also gain information for yourself. Thanks for listening.